So 16 lengths of the pool here. It's a good long way. This very good start from Sasha Matthews down in seven and Wilmot in eight. Absolutely, nearest the camera. Obviously trying to please, please us all, which is good. Well, I expect Adlington to go in the, I don't know, 60 points, somewhere around the minute mark for the first 100 and then settle into 63s. So I'd give her pretty much an 8.21, her best time this year, world number one. It'd be great to repeat that. So there won't be any big moves, but just a gradual increase of the lead if she is going to to win. She's going to have to shake off the Aussies, though. But it's like she's got to just shut it all out, just forget what we, everything else is all about. It's not our world, it's her world, it's her... In, she's got to get control of it, feel like she's in control, block it all out, do what she does best, which is, frankly, she just hit the freestyle really well. So the halfway turn and this final of the women's 800 metres freestyle and Becky Adlington, well, she's led from the gun and she's got about six or seven metre lead now and she looks so good. And this reminds me very much of her swim in Beijing. She went out and kept on going and she looks so strong. I was talking to her about where she feels her strength is and she feels it's her legs. She's such a good kicker, the best kicker in her team and she's very strong indeed. And interestingly for a distance swimmer, keeps her kick going all the way through the 800 metres. Come on, Becky, dig deep. Well, she does swim it a 200 first, then a 400, then a 200. So this is a final 200 mentally. And she started going to her legs again. She still looks a little bit heavy, a little bit laboured, but she's OK at the moment. But Wendy Trott is starting to increase the tempo of her stroke. She's getting a little bit faster. And this last 100 is going to hurt. <laughs> Becky does say she doesn't look at the boards. There's a board to tell her how many lengths she's done. She doesn't look at that, but she says, please ring the bell very loudly. And that bell signifies two lengths to go. Two lengths to go, and hopefully that bell is going to kick her into some action. Wendy Trot digging in. I can't believe that gap can be caught. Come on, Becky. Well, she's just swum past the flag that is her father waving, her, waving his flag the flag of England. She also actually looks for a coach, Bill Furness, sometimes. But Becky Adlington does look OK at the moment. And surely with 50 metres to go, she can't lose this now. 15 lengths down, one length to go in the final of this 800 metres freestyle. And Becky Adlington of England is going to win a Commonwealth Games gold medal, her first Commonwealth Games gold medal in this 800 freestyle. And she's got a long way to do it. Well, she really has dug deep. This is a true mark of a champion. I hope this defines her. She's got to realise she is the talent in the world. So England's Becky Adlington, two years ago in Beijing, it was gold in the 800 metres freestyle in a world record. Now Commonwealth Games gold, a very good swim indeed. That's going to have hurt an awful lot, but the time is good. 8.24.69. She ends 2010 surely as number one in the world. No more major meets and Becky Adlington back to the top, and that's great to see.